So a recent study at Harvard Medical School found that men with strenuous jobs actually have higher sperm concentrations. Ooh, strenuous jobs? Like, I'm just going to assume, like, podcasting, probably? Yeah, no, nothing like that. Sorry. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> These are jobs that involve heavy lifting, physical exertion, and strenuous exercise. And not only that, they found that the same men also had higher testosterone levels than men whose jobs don't involve physical labor. The study found that men who reported doing heavy lifting at work had 46% higher sperm concentrations and 44% higher total sperm counts. It sounds to me like this probably has something to do with the amount of exercise they're getting, right? Maybe. Let's take a look at why the study was conducted in the first place. It was conducted as part of a clinical study called EARTH, which stands for Environmental and Reproductive Health. It's actually a collaboration between the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and Mass General that was formed to study reproductive health through the lens of environmental chemicals and lifestyle choices. And the thing is, it's an incredibly important study because men's sperm counts and fertility rates have been in free fall for the last 50 years. Ooh, boy. Uh, are we headed for some children of men type dystopian hellscape here? Uh, not anytime soon. Probably. <laughs> But the facts are alarming. Some studies, including one by Dr. Shauna Swan, have shown a 50% drop in sperm count since the 1970s, and by some counts, testosterone levels are declining by up to 1% per year. But that's not all. The Earth study found that sperm counts and quality declined by up to 42% between 2000 and 2017 alone. Testosterone, sperm, and fertility, oh my. <laughs> um, so what's going on here? You know, Please refer to my previous question about a future dystopia. Right. So researchers don't know. And that's kind of one of the reasons for this study. Are environmental chemicals causing this decline? Could it be lifestyle choices? Or maybe there's some broader public health issue like increasing levels of chronic disease? Or is it all of the above? But what you're really saying is that in order to save humanity, I need to go get a job as a firefighter or lumberjack, right? You had those just on hand. <laughs> no reason. Okay, okay. Uh, scientists already know that exercise correlates to better reproductive health. Okay, so it's not the job, it's the exercise they're getting? Maybe. And that goes to show the intriguing nature of observational studies like this one. They can see trends, but it's difficult to understand causation. To make matters more complicated, many of the study's participants were men who were seeking treatment at a fertility center, which might mean that the results won't translate to the broader population. What they do know is that making healthier choices, like watching what you eat and getting plenty of exercise, will lead to better health, which will lead to... Better reproductive health. Exactly. It could be that the real revelation here isn't that men who have physically demanding jobs have a higher sperm count. It's that men with sedentary jobs have a lower sperm count and testosterone levels. Mm, well, I think I still kind of want to be a lumberjack. Right, you are really set on that one. Uh, why not just go to the gym? Ooh, maybe a gym that has wood chopping instead of just lifting weights?